Hey guys, how you doing? Cheers. So yesterday, I uh, cut my sleeping bag in half, stuck it in my door, the rear van doors to insulate. Well, I had another blanket that I just bought. It was a fleece blanket, and I thought, oh, that's pretty thick. That'll uh, that'll do me well. Um, and since their blanket was in the rear doors, uh, I didn't really have to leave myself a lot of options. And um, seeing as how I'm a, a cheap bugger, um, I wasn't about to go buy another blanket. So I used a fleece one, which I just bought. Uh, and I was frozen last night. It wasn't even that cold. It was 12 Celsius. I, I'm just, I guess I'm just used to the heavy sleeping bag. So, um, I did an experiment and I suffered the consequences. Woke up at two in the morning, pretty cold. So what I did as I went and put this sweater on, la la la, and I put my jacket over my legs. I, I should, I could have put pants on and then went back to sleep and I would have been fine, but um, I was half asleep and I didn't feel like rumbling around looking for stuff. The van's not exactly in an uh, orderly fashion, you might say. So you may be thinking, what well, awesome inch, why did you cut that sleeping bag in half? It was perfectly fine. And part of me, I mean, I bought it about a year ago. It's, it's not that old. Part of me was kind of regret that. Part of me thinks it was a fine idea. The reason I did it was because two things. Um, number one, the bag was a bit too big and, you know, the thing is always hitting the floor. Um, but the main reason and kind of the reason why I wanted to make this video is kind of like a tip. If you're buying a sleeping bag or using some kind of blanket with the intention of living in a van uh, and you're going to be in any kind of cold climate make sure it has uh, a fuzzy side uh, like a fleece or like flannel or something fuzzy um, like warm to the touch almost well I don't know warm to the touch um, the blank the sleeping bag that I had the big huge orange one was nylon on the inside and I found that when you when it's cold outside and the heat's not quite up to snuff at that point you get under the blanket and that nylon is like <laughs> cold so uh, having fleece against your skin is a lot warmer now it really I'm not so sure I even like the fleece because it's a plastic product and um, I have a friend of mine who's like really intensely into health and he won't wear anything unless it's organic, like even clothes. And all his sheets and bedding are organic. And I'm definitely not that extreme, but same time, having a petroleum product, because that's what fleece is, it's made from plastic, which is an oil product, um, against your skin eight hours a day for like a third of your life. I'm not so sure that that's a healthy choice. So maybe cotton or that flannel would be a better choice. So I'm going to look into that and um, I'm going to try to bring that blanket back because I still have the receipt. See if uh, good old Walmart will do me a solid and now let me return it. But I got to do that today because otherwise I'm not going to have a blanket. I mean, I got my other one. The other half of the sleeping bag that I cut in half is in there, ready to go in the door. Anyways, guys, just a quick tip for you. Try not to use a nylon blanket like that's on the inside. Even if it's a really warm blanket, when you first get in, it will be cold. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night.